WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets in green territory across the board right now. S&P is positive by four points, trading at 32.93. NASDAQ up 13 points, 11,057. That's NASDAQ 100 futures. The Dow up 102 points, 26,660. Gold contract, quite a day for gold, up $37. We're right up there near session highs, 2,023. You back it up to 7 a.m. this morning, and we were trading about 1985. So you're talking about almost $40 to the upside record territory for gold today. Silver trading higher as well. Check out that move up $1.63 at 26.05. Notes and bonds, higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up 12 ticks at 140.10. The 30-year up a full point and six ticks. And we're looking at a 10-year yield right now, pulling that number up. 10-year yield sitting at 0.515%. All right, jumping into earnings, take two. Out with their numbers this morning. Good time to be in the video game business. Uh, excuse me, T T W O, not two. There's take two up about five percent today. Some of the stocks making moves. Uber, we talked about it on my program and with Basil this morning, covering for Tom. Uber up about three point five percent, pairing some of those gains after the bell tonight. We get Disney earnings. Disney up about one point four percent ahead of their numbers. Earnings after the bell. Conference call at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time should be interesting. Beyond Meat out with their numbers as well. Talk about a rocket ship trading higher, 3.6% in the positive, ahead of their numbers after the bell. And check out this stock, folks. From 48 to 140, we were as high as 160. Remarkable acceleration on those shares. All right, what else we got going on? Jumping around to the headlines of the day, Ford, their CEO is out, Jim Hackett, out as CEO, only a few years after he was in there. Their COO, right? Is it? Who's going to come in there? Let's see. Uh, CEO, I believe they have the COO, is going to be Hackett. Uh, Farley, Ford's chief operating officer. So tough time to be in that company as they face some woes dramatic from this to $3.96. We're up a bit today, but for some context on where this chart has been from 14 back at the beginning of 2018 to under four. All right, folks, stay tuned. Two hours left to go in the trading day. Dave White coming up live with the Power Trading Hour. And we got Larry Pesvento filling in for Tom O'Brien, my dad, from three till four. Two hours of live content coming up. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.